Welcome back to Correct Opinions. It is Wednesday, March 18th. Welcome to episode 27. Um, we are out here back uh, back at home doing the podcast. We had to postpone the tour, but it's all good. We're back. I'm going to be in my house making videos, making podcasts. So thanks for coming on back. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about some more segments of why baby names, what triggers me. Um, we we'll talk about how I got invited onto a witch podcast, all sorts of crap, <laughs> fun stuff. This is Correct Opinions, Roll Music. Correct Opinions. Correct Opinions. Episode 27. Like I said, my tour is postponed. Um, is what it is. All good. All good. I had a great time in Louisville and Knoxville, and we had to call it and, and come on home, so I'm back. Thank you guys who showed out in Louisville and Knoxville, like Louisville. It was amazing, man. The show, you guys were a blast. I mean, I had the time of my life. The show went really, really well. I think everyone enjoyed it, and everyone's had some really kind, kind things I, uh, to say to me. Got to meet a lot of you. So really pumped with it. You know, it was a bummer to like do it a couple of times and be like, this is awesome. Let's do it again and again. It's like, Pfft. so postponed we're looking my agents working right now to get um new dates on the books so it is what it is and uh yeah the uh listen everywhere we go online we're hearing about this virus you have my word i'm not going to talk about it the rest of this episode i'm sick and tired of it so we have a corona free podcast the rest of this the only good thing that's come of this is that fast and furious 9 isn't coming out for another year we had to avoid that for another year they announced because of the virus, They're like people can't come watch it in the theater, so we're gonna release it in a year. It's like, okay, darn. So that's the only good thing. Anywho, gosh, it's all that's on. It's all that's online, which I guess is a good thing. But uh, middle school Maddox is out. Middle school Maddox episode one dropped yesterday. It's on the full episode one is on my Facebook and YouTube. So whichever you prefer, go check it out. It'd mean the world for me. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and gl- glad, I guess, good timing that a lot of people are probably at home and got some free time. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. Four, four uh, episodes. Episode one came out. Really proud of it. It was. It's literally been like eight months in the making. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. That's always fun. I had a lot of people out on the road be like, we love the middle schoolers. Wear your braces. Put them on. I'm like, I don't have them. But uh, yeah, check that out. Hope you like it. Hope you like it. Now, I think, you know what? Let's just go right into a little bit of... Uh, crazy white baby name. So, we have our first... We have a lot of entries. You guys keep putting your entries of white baby names or whatever else. Topics you want me to roast. Things we're talking about at correctopinions at treykennedy.com, the email. Um, but the first one I got in here was this, uh, dude, this dude has a goatee and a pair of earrings, which helps to paint the picture. And he named his son Lion Rock. First name Lion's middle name Rock. Rock. White people love nouns as names. This is Lake, Rock, Moon, Star. What's... It's like when I was like Anchorman. He's like, I love uh, carpet. I love lamp. They're like, Brick, are you just naming things that are in the room and saying you love them? I love lamp. Your kid's here. What do you What do you want it to be named? Uh, uh, uh the uh, spoon. Um, uh, I don't. Oh, sky. Rock. Oh my gosh. Lion. Poop. Your name is. It wouldn't be surprise me. Oh my gosh! You just had your kid. Look around and name him after something. Uh, placenta. Just she'll go by. Senti. I don't know, dude. Ew. Crazy white baby name. What else we got? I know there's some other great submissions. Um, rock. 
Oh, this is a good one. I, uh, people are doing this too, where they they trying to make it creative. This son, they named their son James. Oh, we've all heard James for for thousands of years. It's a great name, James. J a m e s. Oh, actually, no, it's spelled G a i m s e. What? G a i m s e. Game Gamesy? No, it's James. Oh, sorry, I'm the idiot. Rock? Someone sent me another rock. Someone put this little precious rock has been in our family about a month. Well, don't. So you named him Rock, and you're just gonna call him, make fun of his name right there. <laughs> our little precious rock is a few months old. Okay, maybe don't name him that. I'm going to see if we do a little more digging here. Someone sent me the Instagram. I'll never name names because what we're a respect first podcast. When we make fun of a newborn's name, we do it anonymously. <laughs> oh, don't tell me it's private. Don't tell me it's private. Yes, we're good. Not a private account. Let's do some digging. Rock, rock, rock. Rock this down. It's like, they're, did your kid come out? 66280. If it didn't, don't name it The Rock. It's like, it's one of the few names I feel like you can't do. It's like naming your kid, I don't know. This is, this is uh, Lady Gaga. Okay, well that name's t- kind of taken. I don't. Rock. Oh my gosh. Here's another one. Welcome to the world, baby Clovis. Clovis. That sounds like... <laughs> that sounds like someone's secrets, right? Like your unmentionable parts. I gotta go... You know, once you turn 40, you gotta get your Clovis checked. Make sure I... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on, man. I think they just said, uh, said something wrong with my Clovis. Don't name your kid that. See if I, do I, I think I had some other good, uh, submissions. Um, <laughs> crazy white baby names. Crazy white people. I am as white as them all. Don't worry. Iceland, that's another one. Um, seven severe. I'm just throw these out a little bit. Seven severe. And then we have Finnegan Cormac. It's just. All right, that's all we're going <laughs> Crazy white baby triggered okay we're gonna... triggered i did a did a lot of traveling the past week before i had to come home people are so slow so slow i so i've, I've tsa pre-check not to brag <laughs> so you know that's where you get to kind of you go in the certain line at the airport and it's faster and because you get this check beforehand and it, the best part of that is what most people in that area they know what's happening, right? So you just get in there, you get out. These old people were in the TSA line when I was there, just walking so slow. Wait, wait, what do I need up here? They're like, your ID. Like, well, let me try to find it. Let me try to find it. It's great. It, it cost me maybe 45 seconds. I was irate. It, did, it took that long. Batteries and bulbs. The store, batteries and and bulbs look this up have you all seen this it's a it's a specialty retail chain of several hundred franchise outlets founded in 1988 just batteries and bulbs how often do you guys buy batteries and bulbs i've bought them twice in my whole life who's going to these stores money laundering that's uh, that's the only explanation for batteries and bulbs What? No, one of the top Google questions: Do batteries carry? Do batteries and bulbs carry light bulbs? Uh, 
Yep. Batteries plus bulbs. Surely light bulbs these days last like eight years. How does this place staying in biz? Oh, you better. Oh, here, right here. We can apply to franchise batteries and bulbs. It says why batteries plus bulbs. Please explain it to me. Oh, it says it does. Oh, there's incentives like unlimited batteries and bulbs. Oh, they, they're like, seems like they're doing well. I don't understand this. Oh, I don't understand any, what batteries go on what anyway. So, triple A, double A. You guys ever need a battery and you don't have it? And you so you start doing it where you take a battery out of the clock and put it in the remote just to try to get to work and your short batteries. Well, I guess that's what batteries plus bulbs is for. It's nice to have right there. I was asked to be on a witch podcast. Let me explain. This is another uh, rendition of like Trey getting very bizarre random emails. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, I'm just, um, someone emailed me saying like, hey, Trey, you want to come on the podcast? Which I get randomly sometimes, which is nice of people. But this one re- reached out. Her name's Angie Lena. A-N-G-Y-L-I-N-A. So, it's interesting. Um, she says, we'd like to be, we'd like, to, we think it'd be a great guest, very nice, to come on the platform and try to uh, argue and expose a witch. Um, This is the last time in our society I want to inter- talk to a witch. So scary. Why would I... Hey guys, Trey Kennedy here. Uh, I make I dress up as an 11 year old online or a girl sometimes, uh, so I'm the right guy to argue with someone who does witchcraft. Thanks for tuning in. What's up? And she's like, I'm like, I'm out. Goodbye. I won't even get the spider in my living room, let alone talk to debate a witch. Talked about that, Katie. It's reversed in a lot of ways. I'm like, Katie, I'm happy to uh, pick out the candles. I just need you to get the cockroaches. I'm not, ash- I'm not ashamed of that. That is... <sighs> I just don't have that in me. Y'all have heard me talk about that before. I do not have it in me at all. Okay. Oh, oh I forgot about talking about this uh, for white baby names. This story is hilarious. Talk about bad names. First names will roast. Last names, you can't control, right? We got last names out there like Butts and Dickie and, you know, Crotch, probably, Gooch. <laughs> That's real. Those are last names. I'm not being inappropriate. This this uh, article is Canada man appeals court ruling against his, li- his, li- his customized license, planes, license plate that says, Grab her. It's his last name. G R A B H E R. Grabber. He made that. He customized his license plate, which you got to know. This guy, it's like, dude, it's your last name and that we want to respect that. But you knew when you made your license plates, grabber, people would be like, okay. Well, it depends on the vehicle, too. If it, is it a large white van, then it's, oh, this guy. This guy has on about six gold rings and looks like he has a beer belly. Not helpful, right? Not helpful. Oh my gosh, dude. No way. Hold on. He has a he has a sign on front of his house that looks like a string sign. That's grabber place. You know, like it would be like an address. Like uh, you know, the Bloomingdale Place. It's grab her place. Grab her place? This guy's just trying to get people riled up. The Nova Scotia Supreme Court ruled license plates are not public spaces with a history of free expression. Da 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 da. Um, there was no, but the, he says there's no, uh, the, the lawyer who represents Grabber says there's no evidence that anyone 
has suffered any harm as a result of the plate. Grabber Place. Come on, man. Mr. Grabber. Mr. Grabber. Grab a seat because you are doing too much, my guy. Do less. God bless. And you all have bad last names? <sighs> Grabber is pretty brutal. Someone sent me in this to... Uh, the, the you know you know the signs you see in people's homes white people's homes for sure they're like you know cutely written and it'll say like i don't know a cla- you know live laugh love is the classic one or like everything happens for a riesling you know they're trying to be the, someone sent me this one steal my heart not my blankets <laughs> uh, mm. Don't like that. If I just Google white people signs, do y'all know what I'm talking about? I I would love for y'all to send in your suggestions or if you have it in your home, just own up to it. Uh, Send it into the email. Correct opinions at trachinder.com. These signs, man, I I can't do it. They're, uh, you know, cross-stitched like, let me see if I can find another. Being a family means you will love and be loved for the rest of your life, no matter what. Um, get naked. Just kidding. This is a half bath. Don't make it weird. Who hangs that up in their powder bathroom? Where's your bathroom? It's right down there down the hall. And you just go, you're in this little room with a toilet. You know, people right outside the door, you can hear you. You're already kind of like, oh, this is a little much. A sign that says, get naked. Just kidding. This is a half path. Don't make it weird. I'm immediately leaving. I'm immediately get naked. Just kidding. Calling an Uber. I literally on Etsy, I Googled white people signs and it just popped up exactly what I was looking for. Oh my gosh. Because someone, oh wait, hold on. I got to find some more of these. Do y'all have any of these? You know what I'm talking about. Brooks Coffee Bar, brewed fresh daily. Just put that in the kitchen. <laughs> Welcome to my coffee bar. Come on in. We're awesome. That's just hanging in the living room. I turn around. I get in the Uber. I turn around. I get in the Uber. Oh, what's this? And the day came. When, oh, wait. I can't read small writing hold on and the day came when the risk to remain tight in a bud was more painful than the risk it took to blossom i see that in the home i get in the uber i leave and the day came when the risk to remain tight in a bud was more painful than to risk to blossom tight in a bud ew sounds like sounds like a clovis you got a Clovis all tight in the bud there, man. You need to let it up. Ew. I just Googled white signs. Signs for homes. Y'all hear me typing that fast? Y'all hear me typing? I've spent my whole life reaching desperately to find out that grace requires nothing of me. $68. $68. Who's buying that? Oh, this is, I could read this for a while. <laughs> the be- the best things in life are the people we love, the places we've been, and the memories we've made along the way. Just hung up. Above. You know what's weird? When maybe maybe th- this might be too gen- like too focused on my experience, but you know, I'm in my 20s, so I've seen a lot of newlywed people and they get they have like a shrine of themselves of their wedding photos. Do you know what I mean? You walk into a, a newlywed couple's home and they've created a shrine of themselves. There'll be like six framed wedding photos of them, like all lined up on a wall. A lot of times above their bed. It's like, this is your marriage bed where, you know, we don't need to go into details, but are you just like, yeah, let's, this is where we're, Right above our, right below our shrine. It feels right. 
That's why I, I don't know if I said this on the podcast. I when I put out when I sent out our save the dates via email, saving money, more efficient. Respect to me. Good job, Trey. And at the bottom of it, I said we kindly request no more monogram gifts because before we even before we sent out the save the dates, we'd gotten seventeen monogram things, and I was like, I can't. We can't have any more of this. And Katie was like, Yeah, I know. I was like, I'm, I got to put my foot down. I'm sorry. I'm sure people looked at that and were like, This guy is. Who does this guy think he is? I'm just like, hey, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my point across. I don't need another cutting board that says Kennedy on it. I don't need another K to put on a bookshelf. I don't need coaster. I don't. You'd walk in my house and be like, oh, the coasters are labeled. The uh, every plate is. Oh, there's several signs up on the walls. There's. It just, it's so much. I ain't going to have a shrine either. That's just, the shrine thing is weird. Maybe, I, maybe y'all don't know what I'm talking about, but newlyweds, they make their own shrine. It's like, I under, like your wedding day special, put up a photo or two, but 11 of them, it's like, are you sponsored by Hobby Lobby? Who framed all these? You just, you just went to Hobby Lobby and like, here's, here's 11 photos. Shrine me, baby. Get me shrined. Or one of the more signs. Oh, this this is perfect right here. You've seen these before. This one's loading up. Um, this home is filled with kisses, wagging tails, wet noses, and love. Ew. Wet noses? I know you're talking about dogs, but... Blech. This home was filled with wagging tails, wet noses, and love, and, and and pee stains is what that says. This home was filled with kisses, wagging tails, wet noses, and a faint smell of dog dung. Welcome in. Some. This home was filled with kisses, wagging tails, wet noses, love, and you're going to leave with your jeans covered and dog hair. Hope you're hope you're comfortable in our home. Oh, live simply, love generously, serve faithfully, speak truthfully, pray daily. Got it. Love grows best in little houses with fewer walls to separate, where you eat and sleep so close together you can't help but communicate. And if we had more room between us, think of all we'd miss. Love grows best in houses just like this. So, buy that for your trailer today. It's just these are a lot. I, uh, they're sweet. Oh, they're sweet. <laughs> uh, we need a creative sign. Our house is so small. We need to create. It's fine. No one's worried about your house. Like just putting up a sign, letting people know that you think your house is small. It just seems weird to me. No, no. A house like this are great. We love each other more. It's like, I never thought this house was small. I'm just over here trying to avoid your dog Clovis peeing on me. In a field full of roses, she's a wild flower. Hey, okay. are wildflowers better than roses? I don't. Wildflowers we put pesticide on a lot of times. <laughs> That's probably good on the signs. The dishes are looking at me dirty again. Let's keep going. These are fun. The dishes are looking at me dirty again. That's up there by the kitchen sink. Quirky, fun. Yeah, I'm looking at you dirty. I'm giving you a dirty look because... My Uber's not here yet, and I want to leave. If you want to change the world, go home and love your family. That's hung up in your home? I, is that what? Come on over, guys. And the sign just says, go home and love your family. I guess uh, all right, Uber's on the way. If you want to change the world, go home and love your family. I, actually, I, could, uh, I, might, I might get that sign, actually, just right when you walk in my front door. Go home. Uh... You invited me over, right? Ah, the sign. 
there's like a what we need is a like electronic changing sign that it, it says like welcome to this home of smiles hugs and kisses <laughs> and then it switches to like go home and love your family dude and people leave Oh, that one's so... This one's really long. Let's see if we can read it. Might be worth it. Y'all got to send me these because these are fantastic. Mima and Papa's house. Mimi and Papa's house. Excuse me. Mimi and Papa's house. How do we come up with names for grandparents? That's my... That's my Miha and Green... That's my Miha and Peepa's house. That's Mooma... Moomies and Poopy's house. That's Moomoo and... Pew's house. That's grand grandpappy and nanny pa- nanny cakes. That's grand piano and nanograms house. That's nana nanobite and one hundred grand's house. That's just a lot. Oh, 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 we're gonna read this one. The man. Let's read. Oh, this is a Theodore Roosevelt quote. Actually, let me read his face. Oh, that's too long to read. I don't even know how to read that many sentences. In this kitchen, we dance. Okay. Jesus loves this hot mess. Got to give that. Yeah, get that for your significant other. Um. Okay, we'll do a couple more. We're dragging this out. And uh, be beware of the wiggle butts with uh, dog bones on it. Beware of the wiggle butts. And my Uber's pulling up. Bye bye. And my Uber's pulling up. I'm gone. Beware of the wiggle butts. The wiggle butts wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. One day when my children are grown, I hope they still come through the front door without knocking. I hope they head to the kitchen for a snack and slump on the sofa to watch TV. I hope they come in and feel the weight of adulthood. Leave them for, for they are home for my children. My door will forever be open. Just look out for the wet noses and the wiggle butts and we're good. All right, we're, we're done. We're done. Email me some of those cause those are fun and we have some ads to read. Correct Opinion is brought to you by Purple. How'd you sleep last night? Did you spend the night tossing and turning? I didn't. I slept real nice. Slept real good, like. And it changed, I mean, I got energy on this podcast. You can hear it. Woo! So thanks, Purple. If you're struggling to get a good, get a good night's sleep, you've got to try a Purple mattress. The founders of Purple are two brothers who have been developing cushioning technology for 30 years on things like medical beds and wheelchairs. In 2016, they finally decided to use their patented patented comfort technology to create Purple, the world's most scientific mattress. The Purple mattress will probably feel different than anything you've ever experienced because it uses this brand new material that was developed by an actual rock and scientist. It was not like the memory foam I'm used to. It won't be like the memory foam you're used to either. The Purple material feels very unique because it's both firm and soft at the same time. So it keeps everything supported while still feeling very comfy. Plus, it's breathable, so you sleep cool. And I have an offer for my listeners. Uh, you're going to love Purple, and right now my listeners will get a free Purple pillow with the purchase of a mattress. That's in addition to the great free gifts they're offering site-wide. Just text TREY to 84888. The only way to get this free pillow is to text TREY to 84888. That's TREY to 84888. Message and data rates may apply. You get a 100-night risk-free trial as well. If you're not fully satisfied, you can return your mattress for a full refund, backed by a 10-year warranty, and free shipping and returns. This episode is also brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Y'all, I've taken some uh, Skillshare classes. I've been trying to get better at editing, I think I mentioned in the past, but they have literally thousands of classes with all sorts of creative skills. Now is time more than ever to develop a new hobby, a new skill. Skillshare is just the place for you. With so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month. Uh, So I have an offer for you guys. 
Explore your creativity and get two free months of premium membership at Skillshare.com slash Trey. That's two whole months of unlimited access to thousands of classes for free. Get started and join today by heading to Skillshare.com slash Trey. That's two free months of unlimited access to thousands of classes at Skillshare.com slash Trey. Okay, y'all, uh, we're back. Y'all familiar with the Enneagram? If you don't know what the Enneagram is, it's annoying. <laughs> All right, but it's it's a personality test that's become very popular in the recent history. And there, so it's a personality test. There's nine types. Like, okay, I'm reading through them here. Like, what type one, perfectionist. Type two, the helper. Type three, the achiever. Type four, uh, the individualist. Type five, the investigator. Type six, uh, wait, I don't know. Types, types, type six is the, I don't, wait, the realist? I don't know. Type seven is the enthusiast. Type eight, the challenger. Type nine, the peacemaker. Type six is the loyalist. Okay. So I'm, if anyone cares, I'm an eight. So basically means I am a jerk, right? But it's fine. No, 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 no. Like a good way, you know. Basically, it just, it just helps explain why I get on here and just make fun of everyone, uh, but including myself. But what, where I have a problem with Enneagram is when it takes, it just takes things too far. Like this article here, here's, here's how each Enneagram eats. So it says Enneagram 8. Excuse me, I had to belch. Gosh dang it. Enneagram 8. They uh, have strong lustful cravings for food they match their cravings they match their cravings with a passionate energy in obtaining or satisfying their craving so according to my enneagram i'm someone who craves certain food and then eats it to satisfy my craving or in other words a human being so that's what what, what like okay let me read let me read someone else a type five. They will oftentimes forget to eat. What? So sometimes they'll forget to eat. They might eat at odd times. Oh, I get it. So yeah, type fives. They might be someone who, if they're busy, they might forget a forget. You know, kind of like realize they skipped a lunch, or um, from time to time they might eat at odd unscheduled times or in other words human beings beings type seven they oftentimes want one of everything on the dining menus basically this is just like people unless you're a picky weirdo dude picky eaters <sighs> picky eaters dude grow up grow up I, uh, picky eaters grow up that's that's how i feel about picky eaters have you ever been somewhere like you know like making you make chili and they're like i don't like beans your uber's here you don't what i just don't like beans man you're not i don't like y- human beings two different things get out of my house your uber's here you don't like beans Ooh, can we order something else? I don't, I don't like, uh, no, it's fine. I just don't like, I don't like mashed potatoes. I don't like baked potatoes. Screw you. Okay. Oh no, it's a texture thing. Like Brock, I don't like broccoli. Cause it like, just, it's like the, the fuzzies are like, yeah, it's a texture. Uh, grow up. Picky eaters. I can't, I can't fathom that. I'll put any, I'll eat anything. I'll try anything at, at least two to four times. I just can't, I can't wrap my head around that. I can't. Or some people like, some people who like don't eat vegetables. No, I I, sh- I can't, actually can't go down that road. I eat terribly. Uh, I have high cholesterol. So it's all good. It's fine. But I don't understand. Picky eaters wear me out. Okay, we're, what are we talking about? We're talking about Enneagrams. Like Enneagram eating types, they'll be Enneagrams during, watch, during 
quarantine. I, I'm not going to talk about it, but you get the point here. The 10 things... 10 things that frustrate new moms based on their Enneagram. What a niche article. Enneagram article for moms, but for new moms that are frustrated. Enneagram for new moms that are frustrated. So if I was a frustrated new mom, an eight, I would try to decorate the nursery for my newborn and found out and find out another woman did a nicer job and that would upset me. Or if I was struggling to breastfeed, I'd be very upset about that. It's, th- this sentence literally says, for a new mom, for an eight, an Enneagram eight new mom that might struggle to breastfeed, this would be especially frustrating. So a human being. <laughs> See, for this type specifically, they'd be upset if something wasn't going right. Oh, oh, that's helpful to know. Yeah, I was, when I was getting upset that uh, my body wasn't working as most do, I was getting upset and I thought that was strange. So I'm glad I read this article on babygaga.com. See what I mean? Just... Oh, let me, I got to find another one of these. What are, there's another why are these these mom ones for oh I bet this will work the best workout routine for your Instagram Enneagram personality okay so for me an eight I need to be doing more boxing because I'm never one to shy away from confrontation so I should go box and hit people but if I were Say, I like no, Enneagram Five is a treadmill class, so I guess Enneagram Fives need to hit the treadmill a little bit. How does that feel? I mean, come on. Or two is indoor rowing. What? <laughs> Eating and exercising. Babygaga.com, I didn't make up. That was a real website. You need an exercising according to your Enneagram. Eight. Weight Watchers? How dare you? Wait, oh, wait. Come on, where? Type eight. How I succeed with my health? Uh, Wait. Eight will do research, equip themselves with a proper workout, and defeat their enemy, at least for a time. Okay, this... Oh, it says I want... I should have kale salads, and I should... Oh, this is funny. It says when an eight recognizes something in the way of their success, such as high cholesterol, they view it as a worthy opponent and strategize to take it down. Well, I just mentioned I have high cholesterol, and guess what? I haven't really done anything about it, so take that, Casey Schubler dot blog dot WordPress. If anyone's worried, I have good faith from my doctor. I'm very healthy, and there, there's like balances out and whatever. So thank you for your concern. But I'm just saying it's too much. It literally, it'll be like, yeah, but how? How you get upset based on your Enneagram, you particularly don't like when your friends aren't loyal to you. Oh, when I, well, I was upset about that. I guess other people are cool with it. Hmm. It's good to know. It's, I can just put, put myself in a box there. That's helpful. Uh, yeah, guys, we have a lot of content coming up. Four, epi- four episodes of Middle School Maddox over four weeks. We have other videos coming out. Um, going to do the podcast is here every week as always and we actually have some other i think we're going to announce some other stuff too so hoping hoping to bring some laughs and smiles to y'all during crazy times like this corona free podcast there i said it because we're wrapping it up but i didn't say it for 30 40 minutes and that will be my accounts i don't know like i just like i said i record every monday so i just posted a story about my bidet dude i got a bidet 
I used to have a bidet hose attachment, which was weird because you had to like grab the hose out and like fish it under your butt cheeks and then and you'd miss and like the back of my thigh was soaking wet with room temp water. It's like, oh, but I got a fancier schmancier one where just it sets there right. It's just right at the perfect, precise, just going right to where it needs to go. Uh, so that's kind of fun because yeah, when, when people are saying like, Hey, you might need to stock up on stuff and be ready to not leave the house. Apparently most of America poops 80 times a day. So, and they're not pretty either because why am I at the store? And I see Susan with a hundred rolls of TP. Do you have 29 kids or do you diarrhea eight times a day? Either way, Hey, if you need that much toilet paper, this new virus is the least of your concerns. You grab some Vaseline while you're at it because go chap that up. How many times? Anyways, that's just kind of weird to me. I, I could get all the food and stuff I wanted, but it seems weird. You're buying more toilet paper than you are food. Food creates the need for toilet paper. I mean, buy food, eat food, leave food out of your body, toilet paper. You're buying more toilet paper than food. It makes no sense. How are you going to need that much toilet paper? Anyway, so I got a bidet, so I ain't worried about it, dude. i would be cleaner than any of y'all. Psst. Take that. Um, so yeah, please go follow and subscribe to my YouTube or my Facebook so you can see the new episodes of Municipal Maddox. I'd love to hear what you think about it. I hope you enjoy it. We got podcasts every Wednesday. More videos coming. And uh, appreciate y'all. It really, the performing the two cities on tour was a, literally the best time of my life, and I can't wait to eventually get to y'all. But it's a crazy time, so just stay safe. Uh, much love to you guys. Appreciate you, and I'll talk to you next week in Correct Opinions. Peace. Correct opinions. Correct opinions.